Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to discuss the difference between average session duration and average engagement time per session. So in Universal Analytics, a lot of you are used to work with this metric that is called average session duration. How much time on average a session lasted, right? So, and then the tool will give you a number. So let's say for me here is 51 seconds. If we now go to Google Analytics 4, we are going to see that we have a different metric that shows up by default in all our channel reporting, right? And this metric, if you give me a moment here, is called average engagement time per session. And a lot of you reached out to me and told me why the average session duration is different comparing to the average engagement time per session. What is the difference between the two metrics? I get one value in Universal Analytics and I get a different value in Google Analytics 4. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Before we go there, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content. Also, if you want more tutorials, just type anything you like in the comments. I do read the comments on a weekly basis and produce videos accordingly. So we have these two metrics, average session duration and average engagement time per session, and they are not the same. First of all, in Google Analytics 4, you can still pull in the metric that is called average session duration. All you have to do is go up here, click the pen symbol in your report. And once you click the pen symbol, you are going to click here on metrics. And once you're on metrics, you're going to click on add a metric and you're going to type here average session duration and you're going to select the metric Let's actually have them side by side here, and then you're going to apply. So we have two metrics, right? So these are two different metrics. So let's save the changes in the current report to begin with. And now that the changes are saved and we have both of these metrics in our report, let's actually discuss what is the difference between average engagement time per session versus average session duration. You can see here that in terms of numbers, these are two completely different numbers. The average session duration is 4 minutes, 0, 09 seconds. The average engagement time per session is 54 seconds. This is because when the system says average engagement time per session, it calculates only the time that the user is active on your website. Active on your website means I have a website open. Let's say here, for example, my own website and i'm actively on this screen meaning that this is the focus of my browsing the internet i'm actively on this screen i'm scrolling i'm interacting with this website this tab is actually active on my browser right so this is what this metric basically here average engagement time per session shows you average session duration doesn't take into account whether this tab, for example, is the focus in my screen or the user is actively engaging with the website. It takes into account how much the entire session lasted until it expires or until I basically leave the site and close the tab. And that's why this is a much higher number as opposed to the average engagement time per session. The key here is this word, engagement. So engagement means that the user is actively on the site. The user is actively interacting with your website. Average session duration, it doesn't, uh, the user doesn't have to actively be on the site for this metric actually to populate and track the, the time on site. So I hope it makes sense and everything is clear between the difference basically between the two metrics, the average engagement time per session and the average session duration. These are two different metrics. So which one is the most useful? Obviously the average engagement time per session because everyone wants to understand how much time, not people have the tab or the website open somewhere in the background, but how much time the user is actually spending on the actual website interacting with our content or whatever else we have depending on your business. 
That's it for today. Now you understand what is the difference between these two metrics and also understand that you have both metrics available in Google Analytics 4. You can bring this metric in. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.